What's going on, cats? Please help me. Can you help me? All right. Uh, more vinyl stuff here today. I haven't done an update in a while. Uh, I've been digging for like the past two months or so. Whenever I get a chance, I've been really busy uh, with uh, being a high school music teacher. Um, the year is winding down for my students, so we're having all kinds of like uh, end of the year performances and things. Plus, it's wedding band season. I'm in a wedding band as well. So that's almost every Friday and Saturday after my day job on the weekends. Um, I'm playing uh, wedding gigs and on top of that doing jazz projects and uh, working on uh, hopefully songs for an album that I could put out this summer on an EP. So lots of stuff going on so that's why I haven't been uh, talking about my vinyl. I haven't even been listening to much just in the last few days I've been able to just really take some time out and just really get into some of the stuff that I've been picking up. I found some really cool stuff. First, I need a sip of coffee from the uh, the awesome Gonzo mug that I think I, my sister got me this for me a few years ago. I just pulled it out. All right, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Um, if you want to know more about any of these albums, just drop me a comment, subscribe. And let me know and I'll do another video. I'll, I'll dig more deeper, but I'm just going to kind of show them off. And uh, Alright, so this one's from Mr. Uh, Keith Jarrett. Um, for those of you who don't know who Keith Jarrett is, uh, awesome keyboard player, piano player, uh, played with Miles. Miles is the one that made him go electric he, before he didn't want to go... Um, you know, he refused to play electronic instruments, but, you know, Miles Davis calls, you, you, you got to do it. So here's an interesting album. It's called Innovations, Moth to a Flame. Uh, really interesting stuff. Uh, first of all, he's playing a uh, church pipe organ uh, for most of the album. And um, just really ambient, kind of really free sounding stuff. Uh, the, the beginning track, there's not even any keyboard on it. It's just a like a free improvised uh, saxophone. So very cool stuff. Interesting. Uh, different from the straight ahead jazz stuff he usually does. Here's the back. This has a nice uh, gatefold too. My man. Look at this guy. Laid back in the... Uh, he's, he always always has the jogging suits on all the time whenever you see him in interviews and in... Uh, Uh, you know, t television appearances. Uh, picked up this one. Uh, Billie Holiday, Straight Strange Fruit, wonderful singer, beautiful voice, can't go wrong uh, hearing uh, Lady Day sing the standards. Uh, one of my favorites, uh, Mr. Ahmad Jamal. All right, just another uh, one I didn't have uh, from my man right here, Ahmad Jamal. Uh, with Voices Crying Young on uh, Cadet Records. I haven't seen this one around yet, so I picked it up. Uh, for my hip-hop beat maker guys, Jay Dilla heavily, was heavily influenced by Ahmad Jamal. So if you go back and you listen to your Jay Dilla, you'll hear a lot of uh, Ahmad Jamal samples. He just had that like real cool laid-back groove. Um, at, that really fit well with hip hop beats, you know. So um, go back and, and listen. You'll, you'll hear you'll hear it. One of my all time favorite guitar players, Wes Montgomery, just the king. Uh, this cover's a little beat up, but I mean the re the record isn't bad at all. It's on Verve. Uh, Bumping. Just the back. Yeah, the cover's a little worn, but I mean the record's still good. I'm. I'm I mean, I, I do prefer a nice cover, but when it comes down to it, if the, if the vinyl is okay, I, I like to listen. I'm, I'm a listener, you know. Nice gatefold. All right, and uh, one from the man, Miles Davis. Uh, live at the plug nickel. This is an essential one for sure. Uh, who's the person now on this? Uh man. Oh man, usually it's right on it. Oh yeah, here we go. Miles Davis, trumpet, Wayne Shorter. Great Wayne Shorter. Uh 
Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Tony Williams, you know, so, you know, these heavy cats. Miles Live, live at the Plug Nickel. Some of the best on here. Uh, another Miles. Poor GM Bass, definitely essential from Mr. Miles Davis. Uh, arranged by Mr. Gil Evans. Uh, you know, uh, songs from uh, the musical by George Gershwin. This, oh man, uh, the version of Summertime on here is just off the hook. So chill. Man, like it's just awesome. All right, going a little bit way out of left field, but not totally, because my man Brian Setzer has been doing a lot of big band stuff. So he's kind of in the jazz realm, but I, I just love him as a guitar player. Um, so I found, I picked these up. These are, man, how much? $3.99. I mean, I, I was, I've been always a huge fan of Brian Setzer's guitar playing. So I picked this up, um, especially with the trio when he's just, you know, it's just bass and drums. So he has a lot of open room for improvisation and, and playing all kinds of chord solos. And he's just really tearing it up on the guitar uh, with the Stray Cats. So yeah, I've always been a fan. He, uh, Great mixture of jazz um, in his playing. Jazz, rock, you know, the rockabilly, of course, blues. It's just a really nice mixture of all different kinds of guitar styles, you know. Uh, and this one was called uh, Built for Speed. Yeah, that was called Built for Speed. Another one from the Stray Cats, Ratten and Rave. Um, and this one has... Um, Oh, the, the first one I showed you, that's the one that has like the straight cat strut and all. Um, and here's the other one. Uh, this next one I actually bought by mistake. Uh, because I thought it I, I thought it said Tony Williams. I just saw like T and like Williams. So, I, you know, Tony Williams is an awesome drummer that played with Miles Davis. Uh, so I was just like, oh, sweet, you know, I, so I just picked it up right away, uh, and I was like, oh, I was shocked, I mean, it was only, like, you know, it's only like five bucks, but, um, it's actually really, really good, this guy's actually pretty awesome, so it, it uh, wasn't a, a huge waste. All right, uh, woo, here's a good one right here. Maha Vishnu Orchestra, John McLaughlin, uh, on guitar, Billy Cobham on the drums, uh, what else we got? Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, they got Jan Hammer on the keyboards. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jan Hammer is the guy that did like the uh, Miami Vice soundtrack. So like you know, but he was in this is one of his uh, groups he was in at first. Seventies uh, uh, crazy fusion uh, shred guitar, just like balls to the wall chops from all these guys. Uh, Birds of Fire. Cool. All right. Sonny Rollins Freedom Suite. I don't know much about this, but you know it's Sonny Rollins, so it's going to be awesome. This is on uh, Riverside. This looked really awesome. I had to pick it up. Uh, looks like it's on a Japanese label. Um, Bill Evans Town Hall Volume One. It's got a tune called "I Should Care" on it, which is just gorgeous and Bill Evans uh, chord voicings are just really lush and you know is this a gatefold let me see yeah it's got a nice gatefold oh wow it's like this wasn't hardly ever been open it's like crackling and stuff oh so I picked up some really cool John Coltrane Bags and Train, uh, Bags and Milt Jackson, vibraphone player. Um, you know, anything with Coltrane is just awesome. He's just one of the people that took music to higher and higher heights all the time. So, any, you know, I try to pick up anything John Coltrane I, I could find. Uh, this one was pretty cool. This is actually uh, Train's, uh, one of his bass players, Paul Chambers, probably his most well-known bass player. Uh, just a compilation of Paul Chambers as a leader. So, and you know, and, and of course, Train's, you know, sitting in on it. Also here from Donald Byrd on here, Kenny Burrell, who is just like an awesome, smooth guitar player. Um, who else? Yeah, I, I, and it's funny because I was listening to this. This is like earlier Donald Byrd. He sounded like Clifford Brown. I was like, is that Clifford Brown? But no, but uh, 
Donald Byrd is actually a, a huge uh, Clifford Brown fan, so that's why, you know, it, it kind of sounded like that. And this is this is a really nice gatefold too. Let me show you this. Picture it, train and pole uh, chambers, pretty cool. All right, time to get funky now. Trying to get real funky right here, Mr. Larry Graham. Uh, some say he's the inventor of the slap pluck bass style. Um, you know, um, play with Sly and the Family Stone, Prince, Shaka Khan. Um, very cool. So, you know, I know this is going to be good. This is going to be some really good feel good stuff. All right, that is it for now. Um, I guess I'll see you soon. I, I have tons more to show, but I only had so much time. I got to hit the road soon. I got two wedding gigs this weekend, but it's all fun. I'm making a living playing music, so I'm very lucky. Any, like I said, any more questions about any of these albums, if you want me to go more detail, maybe we'll go from track to track, whatever. Uh, like, subscribe, drop me a comment. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. I have a ton of stuff, and then um, I'm off for the summer as far as teaching goes, so I have plenty of time. So I'd love to interact with you guys and um, show you some more, a lot more stuff. All right. Have a great weekend. Happy Memorial Day. Please help me.